it's a pound for the lot. Pound for all of them. Oh, don't even say that. And as you know, I think I've said before, everything for the Elvis stuff goes. He to goes charity. to charity, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh. All your things for the quid. There you go, I'll give you three quid because it's going to charity. Thank you very much. Hey, good morning. We are back at Torbay Car Boot Sale here uh, near Paynton. And um, it's just gone 6 a.m. And there's already quite a lot of cars here, which is a good sign. So fingers crossed for the day, we're going to find some good treasure and stuff that we can resell, that we can make some profit on, which in turn will then help me pay my mortgage. Um, see you out there. How much have you got on your dinosaurs? Three quid. Uh, the Jurassic World Dominion, moves in any case. Yeah, it's the latest one, isn't yeah. it? I think they're about £12 on the one. Yeah. They've my glove here, haven't they? The glove? I haven't seen one. Yeah, probably not. Dropped it, I think. I'll have a little look on the one. Yeah, I haven't seen one. Did you do alright with the other Jurassic Park? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I kept some for myself, because yeah. I do. I do have a big sort of Jurassic Park display, so. Yeah, that's good. Um, have you got any more? Is it just those two? I think I've got the ones I had you last time, yeah, your box stuff. Yeah. You take a fiver on these two? Yeah, as soon as you bought off me before. Lovely, thank you. Oh, three quid <laughs> to you, three quid to you. Try and round it up to a really? fiver, wouldn't it? Yeah, do you want a proper bag then? Um, got us, um, what do they call it? Uh, the joystick type thing that goes inside so oh. it smokes. Oh, right. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, I think I've seen one of these before actually. How much is it? Whoopsie Ooh, daisy. Joystick, yeah. <laughs> How much is it? Uh, two quid. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. Oh. I can't wait to get home and try that now. <laughs> That'll look great in my collection, that. Thank you. Um, two quid. Two quid. There you go. Lovely, thank you. Thank you. How much are your cars? A uh, pound each. There's another one somewhere. Is that all of them? Yeah. I think they were yesteryear or something? Or? Right. I wasn't sure, just having a look. Go on, we'll do it. Four quid. They've just been on display then, you know, they haven't yeah. been used or anything. No worries. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah, They're all half price, show man. How much are they? That one's 25 quid. Okay. None of them been opened. Paints are in them. Ah, right. They're complete. They're all brand new. Excellent. How much are the smaller ones? Uh, there's a price on the side of it. Oh. It will be more. Oh, okay, I'll get you. Okay. Yeah. No, he's, he's, 
Even the sports sales. It's like even them are creeping out. Paul said fuck your way. That's like a hundred people. Yeah, 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 yeah,
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Brilliant, right, 38 quid earlier. Yeah. You got two. Yeah, yeah, yeah nice one. You got that on a channel? Yeah, 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 yeah. For some reason it popped up on my uh, YouTube last Oh, nice one. <laughs> Brilliant. I've seen um, an episode when you went to um, America. Oh yeah. Hey, was it over there? The oh brilliant, yeah I loved it. How much are these please? They're 15 now. 15. What have you got on that one? Quick. Done. As I said, you're a good customer. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Cheers. Cheers. It's a pound for the lot. Pound for all of them. Oh, don't <laughs> even say that. And as you know, I think I've said before, everything for the Elvis stuff goes to It goes to charity, charity doesn't it? Yeah. Oh jeez. Oh. All your things for the quid. There you go, I'll give you three quid because it's going to charity. Thank you very much. And uh, I always put at the bottom <coughs> charity. Can I pop back round for that in a minute? Absolutely. Do you want to stick it in the car? Because they're miles away, yeah. The album with some uh, stickers. I put five in for my lot because. Have a lot. You'll probably know the cards on your own worth of that point each. But I've got the set at home and these are just doubles. I haven't stuck any in. Oh, okay, it's not stuck. No. Hmm. A lot of people don't like buying them once they're getting stuck. Exactly, yeah. That one's £2. Uh, one, one fifty, And that one's £3. Pound. Actually, has he got a figure? Oh, sorry, no, that's right, three pounds. He's got the figure in as well. Thank okay. you. Okay, cheers. Thank you. I, I, I forgot he had the figure in. So it's three pounds. How much is that? Three. That one. These they two. Really no, they're they're separate. Are they Batmobile? Oh yeah, that's Batman, and so is that. Well, how much is that? They'd be a pound each. So if you had that and those two, that'd be a five. Like I say, because he's got the Batman, yeah. I can take the Batman out. Does it work? No. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's just press. Well, it hasn't got the missile. Because oh. It's weird, some things they say to kids, isn't it? Because you think you had their eyes out, or, you know. <laughs> yeah. That can be three mm -hmm. pounds. Okay, yeah, I'll do it for that. Yeah, but well, you've bought stuff off me. I appreciate that, thank you very much. Um, <coughs> any other, like, loose Jurassic Park stuff, or? There is, but I think they're all... Oh, what you got here? Oh, they're football. I think they're all, um, I, I think I bought, I think they're all already in there, if you yeah, see what I mean, no, so these, were, these are double, double, doubles. Yeah. No, yeah, because there's the, uh, um, any figures, look, Jurassic Park I didn't bring well. the things this time, because as you know, I've been bringing them in. No, I was, I was more thinking, like, any more loose ones like we had last time. Yeah. Um. So what, what you got on this, five, five quid for the three? Yeah. And those two. It seems like he's got Batman, Batman in it as well. Yeah. 
trying to find them bloody charity shops now when you go to charity shops they're trying to sell action figures at two or three pound each and oh, I know. Them, you won't you know you won't sell it at that charity shops in general are just i mean i i used to buy a lot from charity shops i, I can't remember really buying oh, they're 20 them. pence each sir um fiver yeah yeah Yeah, go on, I'll take that for a fiver. Okay. So we won't be seeing you again then? Well, not, well, we're not going yet. Because I won't be doing another one now until the end of May. Going? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do it. I just didn't want to put two out because... Uh... Oh, yeah? Oh, you mean he's, he's, is he not functioning now? Well, I've never taken the back off it. All right. So what, a fiver for the two? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'll take those. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't mind doing new deals. Oh, that's very kind of you, thank you. What have you got on that one, Steve? Free you, young man. Thank you, thank you, buddy. There you go. Thanks, Chris. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. No worries. How much are your two trucks, please? Uh, I do 150 each. On them ones. Free for the player. Yeah, go on, I'll take those, please. Any more of these? No, I think the only ones. So many lads obsessed. Yeah. Absolutely obsessed with Mario. Has he seen the new one? Yeah. Went to watch it last week. Is it any good? I love it. Really? Absolutely love it. I heard it got a bit slated. But... Really? Yeah. Well, considering the 93 one. I like that though. I really? love that. Yeah, I love it. The little the shrunken head thing. Um, how much did he see? It's £10 each. Uh, so that's a fiver. I enjoyed it. Ah, the yeah. The only thing I thought was when the trailer's come out, so it's just crappy with the voice. That was a bit. Uh, how much is that one? Is that the same? Pound. Yeah, pound. That's £6 then. Um, it's not the rain, is it? Oh, it felt God. something then. I know, it is. Surely not. The weather forecast definitely didn't say rain. Uh, there's six there, mate. Oh, Thank you. Well. Yeah, nice one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How much are those, please? Um, four of those ones. Four. Was it just that one, though, was it? Yeah, that's fine, yeah. Yeah, these are really, yeah. They're not around um, British, really. Around British, around British. Around British. Around British. Around British. Like, you the sort of stuff. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'll do you. Do I not? It keeps raining. I'll get to get stuff out and then it starts coming again. Can you take three on those? No, I won't go lower Just than that. Four. Cause they're like thirty. They were thirty-four mm. pound. They're brand new. I think two people have tried them on this morning. That's it. Thank you. 
Okay, I'll take them. How much is your top? Five for that one. There you go. Thank you. Cheers. That was on us. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so point. much. That's, That's very kind of you. What have you got on this one? Probably, I don't know, I'll work them out, but probably something like two quid each or something. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, put that on the side. Let's see what you think. I've got another one somewhere as well. Put those down. Yeah. Um, what about your scarves and your t-shirt? Uh, the current's got to be 20. Okay. That's got to be 10. But if you buy a lot of scarves, four pound each, mix them in. Some Man United duvet covers. <laughs> Pick them up. <laughs> Liverpool flag. There's a Carlisle flag. There's a Northampton flag. They're all various prices, three or four pound each. Three or four pound each, yeah. Just this. Three pound, yeah. It's like three half pounds. Yeah, I'll take that. Gavin and Stacey and uh, Vietnam, all oh, they're both sealed still. <coughs> I don't know if you've, have you seen them before, David Winter Cottages? No, From the seen early them. 90s. They were before Lillipot. Oh, right. Yeah, so yeah. they were obviously rarer than the Lillipot ones, but they're all boxed as well. What you got on your sliders? Uh, I wanted three on them, because they are literally a brand new Christmas. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. Um, three. Yeah. Go on then. What have you got on these? Yeah, probably them boxes, probably a quid each. Okay. Oh. Yeah, so I owe you six quid, don't I? There you go. Just got a little bit of change.
looking at the uh, Disney. Oh yeah, Dean, not bad. Not bad. One went from 70, believe it or not. That's good. We gotta get back in box. <laughs> How much are these, please? Yeah, no worries. Um, are you interested in the amplifier as well? Um, what price you got on these first? Um, <coughs> what's that one? That's the oh yeah, I've had loads of price like that one already. Um, uh, oh, you've got the price on there. Yeah, I'll do them both for forty. Both for forty. Or forty for both. Okay. Do have a look at the amplifier? Uh, let's have a look. It's all in the case. It's very heavy, it's a really good one. I'll put 75 but I'm open to offers. Open to offers. Yeah, okay. they go on eBay for massive. It's really heavy, you'll have to get it out. You can unclip the sides. Okay. So if you want to look at that. Yeah, I've got you, I've got you. Right. Royal Definitive Audio. How much have we got on this one? Just make me an offer. I just I'll put seventy five because I'm going by eBay at least. Yeah. No, not at least, but just to start with. But I'll take 30 quid. Alright. Yeah. Top of the ring one. Warrior. People keep inquiring about it because I'll put it on things. If I'm going to sell it, uh, Warrior Definition. I think I'll just take these two. Yeah, okay, no worries. You change your mind. Yeah, I will do. I'll be back next Sunday. Okay. Probably with more stuff because it's not going to be in the car. No 40 for those. Cheers. Yeah, it goes up the next. You got a five on that. What? Sorry. You got a five yeah, on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like all the old stuff, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Anything to do with Back to the Future as well. There you go. You've got five. I've got five, right? Yeah. Okay, you've got five. Right? Yeah. Okay, you've got five right? Well, that's Torbay car boot sale done for today. Um, I'm pretty happy with everything I got. Well, we'll get back and we'll reassess. But, you know, so far, on the face of it, I'm happy. You never know till you get home. Some interesting bits and bobs, some electronics, which are always a risk. But, you know what? No risk, no reward. And, uh, yeah, okay, well, stick with it. Stick with us till the end. There might be some stuff that um, you didn't see me pick up on camera. So see you there. We'll show you what we got. Welcome back, and we are here at HQ. We've just unloaded everything. I've just catalogued everything, as you have to do for your accounting and stuff. Um, now, just before I start and I show you everything that I picked up, um, just have a look at this, a little sneak peek. This thing, yeah, it's a Ghostbusters trap, ghost trap, um, but it does something amazing. So what I'm going to do is keep watching and at the end, we'll get this going and um, I'll show you what it does. It's pretty impressive.
Okay, so this is everything that we picked up today. Loads of stuff and loads of bungle deals, which was good. Always like doing a good bungle. Um, let's start going through everything. Um, right. I bought this little collection here of Batmobiles. They're not old. It's kind of like 2017, but there's two little mini ones. And there's uh, this bigger one. And it does come with... Uh, Batman inside and that was five pound for the three I'm thinking about keeping them together so yeah instead of splitting them up it is missing its missile thing there um, so maybe 20 to 25 pound if I keep those together and I bought a big bungle of Toy Story toys there's a couple of Buzz Lightyear's in there, um, Bo Peep and whatever that one was called. Um, a bucket of soldiers. Um, there's a few different things. Forky's in there. Uh, this was eight pound. Um, so I've got a couple of options with this. I could split split it all and try and sell separately, but I think, I think again, I might just take some really good photos and do a a bundle deal because at eight pound i'm pretty sure i'm going to do okay um as a bundle on those so i wonder how many times we can say bundle on this video today so eight pound on that um sorry right let's move over to these so i got these three unusual looking dvd box sets now not unusual because it's morse and frost but just look at the, the cases are a little bit unusual. Now, I think these two came in like a slip case or something, something like that. Um, I paid a pound each on these. Whoopsie daisy. I paid a pound each on these. And I think we could be looking uh, Morse about 15 to 20. And Frost, maybe 20 to 25 if I keep uh, volume one and two together there. So that's not too bad for a pound each. Sticking with media. Um, Incredibles 2 4K Ultra HD. That was a pound. And um, I thought this was going to be worth a bit more because it's still sealed. But it's not really worth a lot. I might even just keep it and test, uh, test my PS5 with that one. Because I've not actually watched... Um, a 4k film yet on my setup so i might actually just keep that one it's probably worth about a fiver as it is um some wallace and gromit stuff this is a egg cup and a toast holder but obviously it's not big enough for proper toast that's for soldiers so you you know your mum used to chop your toast up into soldiers well that's what that's for um, but I think I'm going to keep this. I'm going to gift this to somebody. And they probably know who they are. But yeah, I'm going to gift that, I think. It cost me a pound. If I was selling it, it's probably a tenner there. Um, oh, big shout out to Laura, Ra and Steve. Um, they gave me this awesome Retro City mug. It's retro because the badge is the old badge. Uh, once upon a time it was 7.99 um but they, i'm this is a keeper of course this is a gift so i'm actually going to use this mug i like my city mugs so thank you laura i much, much appreciated and steve um lord of the rings i don't know the character the is it a wolf of some kind uh i think this cost me about two pound ugly looking looking thing um uh, it's probably worth about a tenner. Um, now, this is interesting. I picked this up just on a whim. Um, it's Elliot from E.T. It's not um, old, old, as in original. This is 2001. It's possibly um, like Universal Studios or something like that. Um, I paid a pound for it. It does make sounds. I'm not sure how. He does talk. I need to... Oh, Oh, it's his head. Um, but surprisingly, this is actually worth a little bit. So I might even be able to get £20 out of that. Um, so that's not too bad. I just bought it on a whim. I didn't really 
I expect it to be worth a lot. And if anything, I could have kept it for my own collection. But for a pound, always picking that up. And he's got his torch, which a lot of them don't have the torches left. Um, let's have a look now. These are eh, these are a bit of a fail. Um, a little bit of a fail. Um, I picked them up because obviously Mario's hot at the moment. Um, these are Mario Kart pull back toys. I think you pull pull them back and the the off they go. Um, I think they're like a pound each or something, or maybe fifty p each. I can't remember. Uh, not worth huge money. Um, I think I'll be lucky if I was to get ten pound back for the pair. But I think I will keep them together, and we'll see what we can do with those. Now, also, um, Wallace and Gromit stuff, I bought this bundle of one, two, three, four, five. And I think there's another one under here somewhere. I don't know. One, two. Oh, <laughs> he's hiding. One, two, three, four, five, six plushes. It cost me £20 for the six. And the good thing is they've all still got their original tags attached and they're in really smart condition, really nice. Um, now, I could, again, I could split these, sell them separately, and that would probably get me the most money. But I'm thinking about doing a bungle on eBay on these. Um, if I was to sell all these six together, I might be able to get £60, £65. So I might do that to, to try and move all six at once. Before I do make that decision, I will just check each one, make sure that none of them are worth anything sort of spectacular. But um, failing that, I think that could be a six plush bundle for eBay. Now, I don't particularly pick up die-cast cars that often. Um, saying that, I did bring a load back from the US. But when I'm at the boot sales, I tend not to pick these up because I don't know much about them. Um, but I did pick these up and these four were one pound each um the coca-cola truck was a pound and these two were 150 each now these are interesting these might be worth a little bit um which one was it i looked at first i looked at this one first when i got home and this is actually um there's one listed at like 30 plus pound so I could be on a winner on that one. And and the rest of them, the rest of these three, you know, 15 to 20 maybe each. Selby quarries, that reminds me of uh, Selby. What was that? Peaky Blinders, Peaky Blinders reminds me of that. Um, yeah, so 15 to 20-ish maybe on those, but this one could be worth a bit more. So they were a pound each, so they're in they're in they're heavyweight and you can feel the quality of them and for a pound is easily worth a go. Um the Coca-Cola truck, I've not managed to find this exact same one yet. If you search Coca-Cola truck and whatever on eBay, you're gonna come up with millions. So I need to just drill down that. But I'm I'm thinking twenty pound for that. Um the Pickford's one this could be about 20 to 30 pound, which is surprising, isn't it? Um, and then this as well, this could be sort of 20, 20 pound ish. KFC, uh, it's a vintage matchbox. That's matchbox as well. So yeah, always worth just having a look at them. I'm saying that I very rarely pick them up, but it turns out after today's pickups, I might look a little bit closer in the future. So let's shift them to one side. Okay, what else have we got? We'll get to the clothing in a minute. Let's deal with the toys and stuff first. These were nice. Um, two Hulk talking Disney store. I think they're yeah they're identical, but he did say that one doesn't work. Now, that could just be a battery issue or a battery compartment issue. So um, I paid five pound for the pair, which is really a bit of a, a bit of a bargain, isn't it? And um, does it work? Oh, they must be off. One of them works, I know it for sure. These are Disney Store figures, actually. The Disney Store on the bottom. Um, so for a fiver, uh, I think these are probably worth to me about 15, 15 ish pounds on eBay. 
they're going to be a bit of bit of a bugger for the postage cost because they're big and they are pretty heavy so never mind um what else do we need to do we've done 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 um, Jurassic World sticker album. This has not been uh, stuck in, and it comes with some cards and stuff. Um, it is marked at five pound, but I do buy a lot of the the guy who sold me this, and um, we get chatting about things. And he gave me that for three pound, so it was a nice deal. And it might be a keeper. I'm not sure exactly on the value i need to check it but it's probably not a lot maybe 10 to 15 pound as it is but i might i might just keep it for my jurassic park collection or jurassic world stuff um let's do some footwear uh, we've got a pair of ladies sketches flip-flops now i know that if these were a size four i'd probably lose them to bell but as they are a size three, so probably not going to fit her. But I'm sure she'll try. Ten, three to four. Yeah, there you go. She's listening. She's listening. Um, four pound these were, and they look well, pretty much brand new. Um, they could be twenty to twenty five pound flip flops or bells. Or bells, and these, well, I might have even found his and hers flip flops today because. These sliders, these Adidas ones, um, I paid £3 for these. These are brand new with tags. And I think they're probably worth about 20-ish, 20-ish, something like that. But they're a size 10. And I might get away with them with holidays and stuff coming up. They may be nice to keep. So if I'm going to sell them, 20-ish pound. Um, I picked up a nice bundle of sports stuff from Laura Ra and Steve who who gave me the mug who are channel supporters thank you guys and I I got a bundle deal here so I paid 40 43 pound for for everything you're about to see um so it's difficult to put an individual price but what I'll do is I'll go through and I'll say what I think I'm going to list things for so start off with this really nice nfl um nfl 17 i think cap um i think it's something like that on the label uh, obviously newer tags which is nice it says nfl 17 cap anyway so i need to check this out um but i'm gonna say immediately um around £30, maybe more than 30 on that. It's a really nice hat. Um, I picked up four scarves. I know it's not scarf season, but people collect these rather than wear them, to be honest with you. Uh, we've got Vancouver South Ciders. This is all part of the bungle. I don't actually know what the Vancouver South Ciders are, but... Got that. Uh, we've got a, uh, a city scarf. Fourth, fourth round, Man City, Sunday 26th of January against Fulham. So, City Scarf, I don't know what year that is. I'll have to double check the year on that. I think it was a new badge, so it's going to be recent. What's this one? Is this United one? Or... Oh, no, it's boxing. It's a boxing scarf. It's Joshua against... Povetkin, World Heavyweight Championship, 2018 scarf. I'm not sure on the value of these scarves, by the way. Um, this is all part of the 40, £43 bundle. Um, and this is um, an Exeter against Man United, uh, 2005, so it's very nearly vintage, um, scarf, cup cup scarf so i'm not sure the value of the scarves um now this is an interesting item i have bought signed football stuff from steve before and um the last shirt went all right and um this is just an england t-shirt it's just like a generic sort of england t-shirt um with england on the back but it is allegedly signed by i think it's george cohen 
who played in the 1966 World Cup final. And that is allegedly signed by him. Obviously, I don't have any certificate or anything with that. Um, so when I list it, it will be listed as, you know, unverified or whatever you call it. But I paid 15 for this as part of the £43 bundle. So um, some of the George Cohen signature signed shirts are going for some really nice money. So it's a bit of an unknown what that potentially could go to. But I think it would be nice if if we could get, you know, triple my money on that. Um, Help for Heroes Polo. This is still part of the £43 value on that. Mm, it's a Cotton Traders, so I don't know, maybe £15. Now, this is really interesting. This is a Boca Juniors jersey or shirt, as we call it in the UK. Um, Nike Boca Juniors. From what I can tell, it looks legit. It is missing... It's a uh, tag, or from what I can tell anyway. Um, but if this is all legit, and it's got everything on the back as well, um, this could be 50 to £80, pound, this shirt. It is nice, but I do need to just make sure that this is 100% genuine. Uh, but it, it looks good from here at the moment. And I know that um, Steve obviously would not um, purposely sell anything that's not right. But you do have to check because football shirts are so, so good these days. Even the fakes are hard to tell. But we will double check that. But that could be a real nice... that This shirt, if it's legit, will almost certainly get me my money back on everything in the bundle. So, um, also I got in that £43 bundle is this Switzerland versus Great Britain Adidas 2005 polo. Now, I don't know what Switzerland versus Great Britain is referring to, what sport it is, or anything. But it's almost vintage, and um, that was part of the deal. And that was everything, so that lot cost me 43 quid. We should do all right on that, so thanks for the deal. Let's move on to the rest of the clothing. Jurassic Park, um, but it's a hype Jurassic Park. So it's Jurassic Park by hype. And I can't find this exact same one at the moment on eBay. Um, this was £1.50. It's a size medium. Um, so a bit of an unknown on the price. You can see here, hype. By Jura Hype Jurassic Park. Um, yeah, so I'm not 100% sure on that. More research required. And, and I got a couple of coats. This one is... Now, I didn't even know this was Adidas at first. And I got this just because it looked like a nice jacket. It's got a Neo label. But what I didn't realise is just look below it. I did not know that this Neo label was Adidas until I didn't even see that. When I was doing a bit of research on eBay, it was coming up as Adidas. And I thought, I don't look like Adidas, but it allegedly it is. Um, and it looks like a nice jacket. I think this was around £3. You might know because you saw it on camera. And I think that could be worth, you know, 30 ish So that's a nice one. Um, Jack Will's um, Gillet. That's a size 8. Um, I think I paid two for this. I reckon we could be looking at maybe 15 for that. Not a massive amount. Uh, whoops a daisy. And what have we got here? Fat face jacket. It's a black one. Nice condition. That's a medium. Uh, nice jacket. I think this was like two or three pound. And I think maybe 20 to 25 on that. What size was this Neo thing? That was a medium. Yeah, so I think that's all the clothing. So we did pretty well there. Now, the last things I'm going to share are these three electronic items. Oh, and plus the Ghostbusters, which we'll do in a second. Now, this one um, was labelled a Back to the Future lookalike prop. Um, and it's one of the JVC camcorders. Now, I don't think, I don't think it's the exact one. You know, the, the exact model. But it's very, very similar. It is similar. 
And I paid a fiver and it's definitely just spares and repairs because it's it's got bits sort of missing and it, it's not in great order. It needs a good clean down look. It just needs a clean up. Um, but it might be okay for a prop for somebody. Um, paid a fiver. Maybe, I'd, maybe I shouldn't have even picked it up. What do you reckon? Drop me a comment. Would you have picked it up? Um, I'm thinking like 20 to 25 pound as spares and repairs. Um, it does come with a charger, but I'm guessing that it's, it doesn't work really, to be honest. Um, what do you reckon? Would you have bothered with that? Maybe it's a bit of a fail. And the last two, the last two things other than Ghostbusters are these two wireless professional microphone sets. And, um, comes with like a spare head, this one. I don't know. Or that might go in the other box. I'm not sure. I'll have to look that up. I need to test all these, but I paid £20 a set. Now, usually these professional wireless mics are worth some decent money. I've done well with them in the past. That's the first one. This one's a Warrior Definitive Audio. Um, yeah, so I've got to just give these a quick test. The lady said they were working, but um, I paid 20 each, and I think these are going to be, if they're in order, fingers crossed, 60 plus. They could go up to 100-ish, but um, yeah, 60 plus, depending on exact model number and research. Now, did you see the um, amplifier um, that the lady had as well? Because I nearly bought that, but it was so heavy. It must have been about 20 kilos. And we're moving soon. And I just thought, you know, I just if it doesn't sell quickly, I'm going to be stuck shifting that about. And it had been a bit of a pain posting it. I think there was definitely profit in it because she was asking 25. It might have got, you know, 70, 80 pound. But I just didn't fancy it. Right, so here is the Ghostbusters Ghost Trapper. And this thing is awesome. Now, I saw this advertised on the internet probably last year. And uh, I fancied it then. But what it is, if you open the trap up, and you, it's got one of these little incense burnery things. So you light the burner, turn it to melt the plastic. That little container that it's in, by the way, is metal. So you get that going. You get that going, it starts smoking. And what you do is you shut the trap and you just let the smoke build up and it starts coming out the sides. Babe, come here. I think I caught a slimer. Look. Look. Come here. I can see it. Very good. Got a slimer. Pretty impressive, huh? Watch. Good, isn't it? Oh, that's a downer. Where's the ghost? I know, yeah. Cheating, isn't it? More like a fancy candle burner. It is. That's what it is, it isn't stinks. it? It does stink, though. This cost me two quid. You know how much they're worth? Mm. 40 to 50 pounds. Because wow. I remember seeing on um, Facebook last year these were, these were selling. Places like Zavi and that were selling them. Um, but obviously, I didn't want to pay silly money for it. Bargain, isn't it? It's, it's hard to get it on camera, but it, it is quite good. So there you go. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. We'll see you again on the next one. Take care. Thanks very much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you want to catch up on another one of my videos, you can try one like this or one like this. 
They're both good ones. Uh, give it a go or you can subscribe by pressing this button here. There you go. See you later.